Good day everyone. I am I am and welcome to I am Vibes. Ang mga pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa summative assessment tools sa lahat ng subjects na pwedeng-pwedeng gamitin sa online distance learning or blended learning. At ito pong mga summative assessment na ito ay anchored on the DepEd Order number 12 series of 2020 entitled Adoption of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan for School Year 2020-2021 in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yung commitment ng DepEd na mabigyan ng learning continuity habang inaalala rin naman ang kalusugan, siguridad at well-being ng mga sudyante, guro at mga personnel kaya naglabas ang DepEd ng ganitong DepEd order. At para isupplement na ang nasabing DepEd order, nag-issue rin ang DepEd ng tinatawag nating Interim Policy Guideline for Assessment and Grading in Light of the Basic Education Learning Continuity Plan para i-provide ang guidance sa pag-assess ng mga estudyante sa paraan na kinabibilangan nila ngayon. Traditionally po, kapag sinabi nating assessments, we use to measure how much our students have learned up to a particular point in time. Minsan, tinatawag natin itong assessment of learning. We used to see whether our students are meeting standards set by the state, the district, or the classroom teacher. Meron po tayong dalawang klase ng assessments, formative assessments and summative assessments. Sa vlog na ito ay pag-uusapan lamang natin ang summative assessments. When we say summative assessments, we use this to evaluate student learning, skill acquisition, academic achievement, at the end or at the conclusion of a defined instructional period. Pwedeng end of a project, end of a unit, end of a lesson, end of a semester, a program, or school year. Some of the most well-known and widely discussed examples of summative assessments are the standardized tests administered by states and testing organizations. Usually, ito yung mga basic subjects natin such as math, reading, writing, science, araling panlipunan, etc. Other examples of summative assessments include end of unit or chapter tests, end of term or semester tests, we have periodical tests, mga standardized tests, placement or international exams, and so on. We would just like to reiterate that this school year periodical test is not included in the grading system of our students. Kaya naman, dadalawa lang po ang panggagalingan ng grado ng ating mga mag-aaral. First one is written outputs and the other one is from performance tasks na pinagagawa natin sa kanila. This time, let me show you a list of sample summative assessment tools that count as performance tasks or written outputs per learning area in online distance learning or blended learning. The list is not exhaustive and teacher may use other appropriate tools specific to the assessment tasks. Ulitin ko po, suggested lamang ito, pwedeng gawin, pwedeng hindi, pwedeng gamitin, or pwedeng hindi ni teacher. Let's start with the languages. Mathematics Thank you. 
Araling Panlipunan Subject Physical education, health, Edukasyon sa Pagpapakatao or ESP Edukasyong Pantahanan at Pangkabuhayan or EPP or Technology and Livelihood Education or TLE Maaaring magdagdag or magbawas ang guro ng mga suggested activities kung sa tingin niya ay hindi naman kailangan or hindi na necessary sa kanyang subject. Mahalagang may gabay si teacher para identify kung anong klaseng trabaho ang pinagagawa niya ang classified as written outputs or performance tasks. Mahirap po, opo, sa mga pagkakataong ito, lahat po tayo ay nag-a-adjust. Both or among teachers, parents, and students. Pero dahil meron tayong layunin sa mga pagkakataong ito, laban lang.